Hello friends. Today I am going to show you the recipe of puran poli. So let's start. So the ingredients of my recipe are 1 cup of chana dal, 1/2 cup of sugar, some salt, 1 nutmeg, some cardamom pods, ghee, 1/2 cup of maida and 1 cup of wheat flour. So let's start. Now take a bowl and add one cup of chana dal in it. Then add some water. And now we are going to soak it for two hours. After two hours, the chana dal has soaked well, and I transferred it into this cooker. And now I am going to add one tablespoon of turmeric powder. With that, some water. I added one and a half glass of water, and now we are going to go to the cooking process. I transfer the cooker on the gas, and now we are going to cook it for two to three whistles. After two to three whistles, the chana dal has cooked, and it is very soft. And now I am going to strain it so that the excess water is removed. I strained it and now I am going to transfer it into a blender jar. I transfer the chana dal into this blender jar and now I am going to blend it into smooth paste. I blend it into smooth paste and I transfer it into this pan and now I am going to add half cup of sugar in it. With that, I am going to add one tablespoon of ghee. Mix it and cook it until everything combines and it thickens. After five to seven minutes, the sugar has dissolved and the mixture has thickened. And now I am going to add one tablespoon of nutmeg powder. Then I am going to add one tablespoon of cardamom powder. Mix it well. I mixed it well and now I am going to turn off the gas and cool it down completely. Till that time we are going to make the dough. So in a bowl add one cup of wheat flour. Then add half a cup of maida. With that salt as per taste. And now we are going to mix it properly and add water little by little to make a soft dough. I kneaded it into soft dough, and now I'm going to grease some oil on it. I grease some oil, and now I'm going to cover it with a plate and rest it for half an hour. After thirty minutes, the dough has set properly, and now I'm going to again knead it for five minutes. I knead the dough for five minutes, and my dough is ready, and my pulan is ready. And now I'm going to take a small portion of the dough and roll it into a ball. I rolled it into a ball, and now I'm going to cover it with a layer of flour. I cover it with a layer of flour, and now I'm going to roll it into a small roti. I rolled it into a small roti. And now I am going to take a small portion of the puran and pack it like a momos. I packed it properly, and now I am going to cover it with a layer of flour. I covered it with a layer of flour, and now I am going to roll it into a puran poli. I rolled it into a puran poli, and now we are going to go to the cooking process. Now take a pan and grease some ghee on it. I grease some ghee and now I am going to add the puran poli in it. And now we are going to cook it from one side for one to two minutes. After one to two minutes, I am going to grease some ghee on the other side. I grease some ghee and now I am going to flip it. We will cook the other side for one to two minutes. After one to two minutes, the both sides have cooked, and now I am going to transfer it into a plate.
similarly i made two more puran poli so this is my delicious and tasty puran poli recipe give this recipe a try and enjoy